Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's leg five in the French bush trip. We're going from Herrera Airport to Castillon de la Laquette or some such. LFCO to LFMB. Let's get it going. Um, I think we've probably got just enough room to take off. What about you? Don't know. Let's find out. Don't need fuel just yet. Might not be enough. We're gonna make do anyway. White line coming up on the on the altim or the speedometer just before the end of the runway. We get it. We make it. No problems. All right, we want 125 for three minutes and four seconds. Let's start our clock. Gateway to the Pyrenees. Come on, get some speed up, plane. Stop, stop fighting me. Stop fighting me. Start climbing. That's slightly better. Good work, plane. All right, let's get our flaps up. And that should help a little bit as well. Prepare for your journey into the Pyrenees Mountains, a majestic range that forms a natural border between France and Spain. Departing from Herrera Airport, head southeast. Follow the river that skirts the base of the mountains, climbing to 7,000 feet as you make your way towards the gateway to the Pyrenees. 7,000 feet. You're kidding me, aren't you? Won't be able to see anything that high up. Look at these little hills with their little towns and their little villages and their big mountains. And their farmlands and oh, and it's so pretty. Except for big white boxes that take over the screen. Alright, well, we'll go to 7,000. It's told us to go to 7,000. We will go to 7,000. Cute little town. Plane like sort of drifting to the right. And I can I No, not really. I don't have the controls for aileron trim on the controller. I know you can do it through the keyboard, but the keyboard doesn't really offer very useful um, digital inputs. It's all analog and so it all gets a bit wonky and I don't even know if this plane has aileron trim. I mean, could I find it maybe and use it manually like a plebeian? Probably not. Low fuel left. Is this one of these planes where I have to change the fuel? Fuel valve emergency normal. Does it do it automatically maybe? Well, if we run out of fuel, we'll know. We'll know what's happened. What other plane was doing that? It was the... One of the bush trips had a plane that did that, where you had to manually switch tanks. This plane surely, surely. So we've got cushion, low fuel left. Where would it tell me the fuel? Where are the fuel gauges, huh? We need to pay attention to the... Uh, the line here because we're heading into the mountains now we've nearly done well we've done three minutes and four seconds but again we're climbing we're going quite slow so it's going to be a little bit longer than what the ETA is there we go 178 for three minutes and two seconds reset the clock I really need to get to 7,000? I guess it told me to. It must know I'm going to go that high later on. Or need to be that high later on. Look at this little valley. Wow. Absolute wow. 
confluence in La Rung. Adjust your heading south and follow the river into the Pyrenees, continuing until you, until you we've got missing a word here, continuing until you reach a point of confluence with another mountain stream at the town of La Rung. La Rung, I don't know. L A R U N S. La Rans? La Rung. All right, let's, um, we're nearly at 7,000, so we might as well let it be that. To enjoy the majesty of these mountains. Nearly there, nearly there. That'll probably do. Let's trim down to minus 1%. That seems to have been doing us pretty good. Get our engine down to, I don't know, 80% maybe. And adjust from there once we're leveled off. Look at this valley, it's so spectacular. Beautiful. Magnificent. Love looking at this terrain, these little mountains where you could, you know, climb up, do some treks. Look at that view. Yeah, yeah boy. All right. We must be about to turn. So this must be Laurent underneath us here. Hello, Laurent. Here we go. We're turning... 103 for 128. Roads on the mountain. Follow the east flowing branch of the confluence as the river leads you to Goret Ski Station at the end of the valley. Just northwest of Goret, look for a switchback road cutting a path up the mountain and make your way to it. Awesome. Switchback road. Sounds dangerous. Well, they weren't kidding about needing to be about 7,000. We're above that, and I'm worried about hitting this mountain here. We're only going for a minute and a half, so we're going to do a little bit slight turn to the left. Not much of a turn, so I think we'll be okay. We might just sort of let the plane do any kind of natural climbing that it wants to do. Ah, this must be the ski resort here. Yes, it definitely looks like a ski resort, doesn't it? Up in a little... What do you call it? Almost a basket in the mountain there. Just a little shelf. Some stuff going on down the bottom there that's probably... Uh, I don't know. don't know what that is. Run sort of artificial, perhaps? Perhaps? Don't know. All right, we're doing, okay, here's our turn to 98 degrees from 103. Not much of a turn. And reset our clock. Doesn't want to. There we go. Now it does. Valley of Arran. East of your position, a series of hills awaits with roads trucking along the peaks. 
As you fly over them continuing east, you will come across a river flowing northeast through the valley of Arain. Or Arain. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Let's see what's going on. We're still low fuel L. But I can't sit. Where is... Okay, my plane has decided to launch itself to the right, as always. Get back on track. There we go. Got a bit of a strange river going on over here. Oh, and then it's fixed itself up. Oh, the aliens. I told you the aliens were in the Pyrenees. This is, this is French Nevada right here. Let's go back to this view and see if we can see anything useful for fuel. Anything on the roof? Nope. Plane just does not want to stay straight. Oh well, what do you do? Can't win them all. Let's get our power down. We're actually over speed. So this must be the Valley of Arain. There's the river, I think. Yeah, we're turning already. Way early, way early. 71 degrees for 258. Argelis Gastop Confluence. Let the flowing waters of Azungav lead you northeast, and soon you will reach another great river confluence near the town of Argele Gazost. Argele Gazost. Excellent. Meanwhile, these little towns, look at them. Just look at them. Well, we've hit 50% fuel, so I suppose that means the entire left uh, engine uh, engine tank is foot is done. I still can't find where that's indicated. Fuel temperature, fuel quality, quantity in gallons. So is that just because? All right, so we're so all right. I just don't know how we get to. What about this? What does this say? It's just on normal. Hmm. I don't know how you switch to the right-hand tank if that's what needs to happen. What are you doing, plane? Just go, fly straight. Well, let me have an aileron uh, trim. There we go. Back on a sane heading. It doesn't have a rudder trim either. Mm, give me a give me a more modern plane, please. Wow, just it, this is like the rest of France. It doesn't matter where you are. There could be huge mountains, and there's just towns everywhere. Towns on towns, villages on villages. Look at this incredible valley. Oh, beautiful. Well, let's hope we're turning soon because oh there we are we are turning because we're running into a mountain here all right we want 159 for one minute 19. we're going to gorge de luz valley at argelis gazost turn and track with the river branch running southeast in the distance ahead you will see another confluence and should follow the waters that lead further southeast okay 
We're hunting confluences. Be very quiet. I'm hunting confluences. Nice little stadium down there. Middle of this hidden town in the mountains, basically. Back to trying to figure out what's going to happen if I run out of fuel in my left uh, tank. Can I see anywhere else where there's a right tank? Hmm. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. Got fuel pumps off. They don't have left, right. Avionics master. There's a fuel trans, I guess. Fuel transfer on. Maybe that's what we'll need. We'll find out. We're still going. We're still going. Plane, though. Why does it constantly go to the right? And why can't I trim it to not do that? Right, heading for confluences. Oh, we must have already moved on. Yeah, 157. Uh, for 2 minutes 45. Reset our clock. Wasn't much of a turn. Again, I take my mouse off the screen and suddenly the plane launches itself to the right. Lou saint sauveur Continue along the river heading southeast and soon you'll be arrived over Lou... Lou saint sauveur a lively mountain village rich with, rich with historical heritage. Good hold, heritage. Um, I'm guessing that's it down here because, you know, we uh, flew the last leg a little bit longer than we should have because I didn't notice the slight change in the purple line because I was fiddling with the fuel. You're saying low fuel. Oh, I see. Look, we've got right and left there. That's what I was looking for. So we've still plenty in the right, not much in the left. In fact, the left's probably run out. It's automatically doing it. I think is what's going on there. I'd be very curious to see what this does. Is it moving from the right to the left? It is. Maybe that's why we're turning so much to the right, because of a fuel. That might be it. We're heavy. We're heavy on the right side. All right, big turn to the left. Last leg of, well, the last segment of this leg. 165 to 2 minutes 13. Castillon de la Laquette Airport. At the heart of Lu saint sauveur lies another confluence of waterways. The Baztan River will lead you east towards Castillon de la Laquette Airport at the end of the valley, perform a right turn and land on the grassy runway. Where is said runway? God, I cannot see a runway on the picture. That they have given me. It's two minutes away, so it must actually be over this hill then? Is that what you're telling me? The fuel is slightly moving across. It wasn't here, was it? It sort of looks like little paths on the side of a mountain and then there's a there's a runway, but I'm not seeing where it is. Can I find it? All right, LMFB, is it? It is. All right, so it's directly in front of me now. Is it on top of this mountain over here? We are very close to it. I'm going to slow down because it looks like it's coming up very quickly, which means it's over this hill. What are we landing on? All right, no, it's up on that uh, up on that hill, I think. 
where that shack is. Below us, is it? No. It's a sort of zigzaggy road, and then next to it is possibly a runway. I wouldn't necessarily call it that, but... Get our flaps down. Here we go. Is this it here? I reckon that's from the picture, which means the runway must be... We're going to have to go and have it. We're going to have to see what we've got and then come back round. Is this the runway here? I think this is the runway here. Possibly. In which case, I don't really want to be... La I want to be landing this way, surely. Alright, let's head over here. And try and turn around and land on that. Nonsense of a runway. And much rather be landing uphill, let me tell you. Yeah, there it is. That's the runway there, I think. And it wanted me to land this way? Downhill? Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Let's just turn around and do it. Let's not muck about. Try not to hit this hill. Why have I got so much speed? Way too fast to land on this. Way too fast. We're going to have to have another go of it. Going around. Look at the moon in the background there. That's awesome. Going around. Charlie Hotel Alpha Sierra going around. This is not a runway. This is a joke. This is a prank being played on poor Chaz the pilot. Come on, don't hit those trees. Car, car calling it a car again. It's a plane. No, I fucked that up again as well. I got impatient. It's true. It's true. We're just going to have to be patient here. Let's give it a long distance then. Let's go down the valley. Enjoy the scenery. Stop being impatient. And then give it a long run up so that we can... Uh, so that we can adjust things as needed without having to adjust things right at the last second. Give it a bit more. Give it a bit more. Up and over this hill. I think we can probably start turning around. Okay, good. Good, all right. Let's keep it low and then try to power up. Back to the runway. We're already at it. God, it's so short. Let's line it up here. Definitely the airport, according to the... All right. A little bit this way. Bit of power just to get us up on top of the hill. Alright, that'll do. We've got to land. We've got to land. We can't we can't hold it off any longer. Stop. Boom. We stalled it onto the runway. We slam on the brakes. We laugh at this arsehole's calling this a runway. But we did it. We're down. We're down. We're on the runway. Is it registering? Yes, it was the runway. Wow. Go fuck yourself with these runways. What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, that was leg five of the French bush trip. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Au revoir. Goodbye.